This time of year, downtown Sonoma would normally be packed. Well, now KPIX 5's Ann Makovic shows us it is a ghost town. Another home now added to the tally of hundreds lost. This one in Sonoma, leaving charred wreckage amongst the trees where the fire continued to burn long after the front line had moved through. Sonoma's town square is virtually silent. The statue of General Vallejo donning a breathing mask next to signs of appreciation for the first responders still patrolling the town. All of a sudden, you know, something happens bad and everybody just jams together. Jim McVeigh has lived in Sonoma for 40 years. He has evacuated twice this week, but his home is standing and he's thankful for the support on the streets. The people, you know, the way they are. The businesses around here have been closed for a week now, vacant on what would normally be a busy Sunday for tourists. The road leading to many of Sonoma's famed wineries closed. It's difficult to get a grasp on exactly what remains in some of these communities because while the damage was widespread, it's also been spotty. Here's a look at the famous Stornetta Dairy here along Highway 12. It is obviously destroyed after standing here for decades. Just across the street, the Nicholson Ranch Winery is untouched. It's unreal. Judy London spent time at this evacuation center at Sonoma Valley High School. She has since been allowed to return home, but the uncertainty remains. I know there's people that have lost everything, you know, but it's just, I've never gone through anything like this, and I don't wish this on anybody. Continued chaos amongst reminders of community strength. It's a feeling that you, know, you just can't get. In Sonoma, Ann Makovic, KPIX 5.